Okay, in this video we're checking out the uh, iFlight XL5 Lowrider unibody frame. Uh, I did this build probably more than a month ago. I've actually been sitting on this for a while and the footage uh, that you'll see here uh, because I've been waiting for the final version of the RPM filter uh, ESC firmware to come out, but um, apparently it's still in beta. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and make the video and the, the footage you're going to see here is actually from the beta firmware um, of the RPM filter on these ESCs. Um, I'll probably come back with more videos on this. It's actually, even even though it's beta firmware and actually this is actually a beta build of 4.0, it's actually that's how old this build is. It's been out, uh, I think the final version of 4.0 has been out for a while now. Um, but it flies pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect. I think it's going to be better once all the finalized versions are on this build. And you'll see that in a future video. But I just want to talk about this build and what I put on here. I actually like this frame so much that I actually got another one of these. And I'll be doing a second build so I can maybe do some side-by-side -side comparisons in the future. But as you can see, I did, a, I did a video on this frame already. You can see it's a unibody. And of course, you know... Obviously, if you crash, you break an arm. Um, you're gonna have to replace the whole bottom plate and the whole frame. So yeah, that's a downside, but it does make things a lot lighter. The whole build here, as you see, is about 310 grams or something like that. It's pretty pretty light. Um, it can fly with a 1550-1500 4S battery here, and it just uh, screamers really fast and plenty of acrobatics. Using the Mamba uh, motors here, these are the 2207s, um, 2650 kV, pretty nice motors. You can see here, these um, ESCs are the iFlight, I think they're called the Slick ESCs. You can see they're skinny here. And uh, they are BL Heli 32, running the uh, beta firmware for R the RPM filter. Now the um, flight controller that's on here is from HTLRC. It's the Ford F4 all-in-one. It's actually a... Uh, yeah, you can't really see here. I just put a I put a photo up on the screen of the of the inside of the build here. So it's a four in one uh, flight controller, F four flight controller with a built in PDB, and so that's why the ECs are connected to the corners of the of the single board there. And so it's a flight controller and a PDB all in one on a twenty by twenty board. It's a little bit big for twenty by twenty, but obviously it fits there no problem. And then I just have my um, XD sixty coming out to the back, and I have it zip tied to the side here. It's plenty of clearance from the props. Um, one more thing to note is that I the footage you're going to see here is actually from the Jump Van 5042 Wind Dancer prop, not the prop that you see on here. This is actually the uh, Hurricane Kebab FPV prop. I haven't actually tested this one out yet on this, on this build. This, that's, I just put this on here. I'm going to go, go and fly this on the new prop pretty soon, but I wanted to get the build video part out of the way first. The video transmitter is an AKK, I think it's an X1 uh, nothing too special about that, you know. It's um, uh, it's been out for a while. I think I moved it over from another build. Just uh, on there, zip tied to the bottom plate, and then I have an MMCX connector to SMA to this Fox here lollipop antenna, and then uh, the GoPro mount here is an accessory you can buy from the iFlight website. I'll, although there's probably prints you can download from Thingiverse as well that'll fit on here. And this, I just you can just slide in a GoPro Session Five in here, no problem. Uh, the camera I'm using is the Cadex Rattel, and the uh, receiver I'm using is the XM Plus receiver. And as you can see, I have the antennas on the arms. Pretty straightforward build. I mean, let's see, uh, what did I do first? I did the flight controller first, and then I started the ECs to the flight controller, and then I started the motors to the uh, ESCs, and then I mounted the motors, and then I mounted the, or soldered up the uh, video transmitter, camera connections, and the receiver and the XT60. Pretty standard build for 5 inch, and it's nothing. Not rocket science there, and then using the uh, included large capacitor there for what they came with the uh, uh, flight controller PDB, and that's for video noise. Pretty nice build overall, very nice power on this setup here. Obviously you could probably substitute some different motors in if you want to go a little bit cheaper. I could suggest maybe the Emacs Eco motors, and so these, I think those are like $12, and these are like $14, $15. Or you can go even uh, more expensive, you get like, you know, say a uh, T motor or some other type of, you know, like $25 motors out there if you want to go higher end. Um, I think uh, this particular frame, this setup here, will work with a lot of motors pretty well. Anyway, the two things I most like about this frame is that it's low deck, so it's only 22 millimeters for these standoffs. And 
and you can see even with the, the, the low clearance, I have plenty of room because I only have the single board, but I could even go even more slammed if I wanted to, maybe put in some 20 millimeter standoffs if you want, but the 22 is fine. Uh, see the right in line with the prop line here, so you get nice CG from that, and um, yeah, the, that and also the fact that the frame is really light because if it's a unibody, those are all pluses for me. Uh, I don't, um, I'm not a stickler when it comes to durability. Uh, I, have, I have crashes in soccer fields, so it's totally fine in grass and in dirt fields, but probably not going to survive a severe crash onto concrete, if you guys are wondering about that. I talked about that already in the frame review, but yeah, I, I like it because it's lightweight, even though it is a unibody, and it, it uh, flies pretty good, so uh, let's go ahead and show you some flight footage from this guy. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.